I'm coming for you What have we got here? This is a, uh, a Roland V-Drums kit that I've had for quite a few years now. It's been an amazing tool. I use it for everything. I do the majority of my playing on this kit. Uh, recently upgraded with the uh, digital pack, which is next level. Um, yeah, I've pretty much got the setup uh, emulating my real setup for gigs on the Pearl kit. Um, yeah, it's super comfortable. Um, sounds rad, uh, the, the, uh, the module sounds are sick, and then I've also got um, uh, Superior Drummer 3 rocking over there uh, for, the, for the recording. Um, we've always done all of our recordings on this, uh, all the, uh, the two EPs, the two albums, working on the third album right now. Um, yeah, it's amazing, amazing tool. So the last album, Outlier, I recorded myself. Uh, the previous album, um, Silent Machine, I actually would take this kit to the engineer's house, he'd set up the Pro Tools session, hit the space bar, record, I'd just record, he'd clean it up, edit it. That was pretty cool, but it was also very cool learning how to do it myself and um, has saved the band a bit of money <laughs> as well doing it this way. But yeah, I really learned a lot on the last album, had to learn, um, yeah, had to learn Pro Tools, nearly chucked uh, my MacBook out the window quite a few times learning. Because <laughs> it was a bit frustrating. But now this album's come along and I'm, and I'm in the zone. It's, it's really happening a lot quicker. Um, oh, it's so cool that I can do an album in my bedroom. And, and this is how all the dudes are doing it. In their own studios at home. Send each other files. Send, send off the, the finished files to Forrester. And he mixes it. It's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, emulating my real setup, so I've got it as close as possible. I've got the, uh, the China here. Uh, I use an Oriental China. Here's 16 inch, 18 inch, or 20 inch Oriental there. I've got the 20 inch crash here, the 17 inch crash here, eight inch splash, got a stack, the digital ride, which is next level. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is another crash there, which is, that's fine, I can get away with. Without it, and, and one more splash I have in my live setup, but that's it. So I'm just missing the two symbols, but I can get away with doing everything on this setup. It's unreal. Uh, USB cable out of the module into my Mac. Um, yeah, fire up uh, Superior Drummer 3, and off we go, record the MIDI. Uh, I track with the V-Drum sounds, and then I will uh, dump the MIDI into a, a Superior 3 track, channel, and, and I have my own uh, drum kit built in Superior 3, uh, which we're using for the album. So all the heavy drum sounds, are, are, everyone's using the one kit now, which is awesome, and it makes it a lot easier for Forrester when I send him files, he's getting the exact MIDI, you know, everything's mapped correctly. Uh, it's just a breeze, yeah. USB into the computer. Freaking hit record and go for it. Shane, have you been busy, mate? Have you been busy, have you? <laughs> the V-Drum's plugged into uh, Pro Tools. And then um, this is one of the new tracks here. I've got the audio uh, drumless track up here. And then I've got the program drums in here as well. And then I've got my my... Drums. So I normally track in this channel, the TD50 channel, and um, capture the MIDI from the TD50, use the TD50 sound, and then I simply drag into the Superior 3 channel, and this is my Superior 3 kit here. So you got the um, nice classy sounding snare, Tom's got a nice attack, uh, kick's beefy. Uh, I've also got the snare stacked. So I've got two snares on top of each other. One's a snappier one. This one's got a bit more depth. 
so when you hit a rim shot on here, um, you get the whole, you get both snares firing when I smash a rim shot. And then I've got the same for the floor toms, the two floor toms stacked. Um, yeah. So this is the kit everyone's using in the band, and this is what will be on the album. Uh, not much has been done to this kit. It's pretty raw, but then when Forrester gets it, he does his thing like a real drum kit. EQ it, compress it, whatever, whatever he does uh, to make it sound wicked. But I've got the exact thing as I use live. So there's Zildjian Orientals, A Custom Crashes. This is a different stack, but that's pretty similar to how I have it live. Um, yeah, it's just so, so cool. And then, the, you know, the, another cool thing is um, with this band, we do a, a lot of different uh, genre hopping. That's why Superior 3 has been really helpful because we can load a, a funk kit up, a, a jazz kit, a reggae kit, and instead of, you know, if we were in a real studio, we'd have to have a million kits. You know, a lot of people use a million snares, but we would literally need drum kits, <laughs> like full kits. So this is just easy, you just load up a kit. We are always within, instead of without. So much so, we have forgotten all. This awesome PA here, uh, monitor, uh, what, what is it, a PM200? Yeah, this thing has been epic and that's just blasting into my face, which is always good. You, you need a massive sound. Very inspiring, yeah. So it sounds really sick. Uh, so I, I can jam out nice and loud with that thing, or I can actually, you know, just simply turn it off and run the headphones if I don't want to, you know, annoy anyone in the household. <laughs> but I've also got the KT10 kick pedal here. Uh, so different bass drum options, which is epic. I use that live. Uh, so I have that set up exactly uh, the same on the real kit, and then I just have the running the SPDSX as well, so I use that a lot live. That has all the drum shots on there. Yeah, I have drumless tracks on here to um, to practice to, and you know, the odd clinic we've done, that's how I run it. Uh, this thing has been epic. Um, yeah, quality, man. <sighs> oh, we were using a, um, a PSP. <laughs> um, but this was next level because we were able to run backing tracks in stereo. I could start the next track while the previous one's still playing. So there was no dead air at gigs. You know, I'd finish one track, I'd load the next track, hit it, the other one's finishing, and bang, straight into the next one. Um, so that really tightened up our live show because uh, dead air was that's, that's not ideal, it's not very pro. Um, and also running interludes from that if we do need a bit of time in between tracks, um, just, just yeah, assign uh, a pad to interludes, bang, interlude, wait for whoever needs tuning or whatever, uh, there's still some nice noise going out front of house, bang, turn the interlude off into the next track, awesome. Challenges with um, recording at home by myself and not having the dudes here is that we don't get that real time uh, feedback. Uh, luckily, we've been working with each other long enough where we, we kind of know what's required and, and what someone's going to like, uh, mainly Stevic. Don't know. <laughs> I sort of know his vibe with what he expects with the drums and what, what he likes. and. Uh, you know, he does a lot of drum programming that he sends me a track with the drums programmed and then I relearn it uh, and then make it my own. Uh, I'll change, you know, I really like a lot of his ideas but he's not a drummer so he doesn't know proper sticking and stuff. So I redo all that and then, and then I'll try things and try and better it and if I can, that's good. If I can't, I'll leave it as is and just put my 
my vibe on it. Um, but yeah, luckily on this album, everything I've sent him, he's loved it straight away. He doesn't have to touch it. Like all the editing is done, all the uh, dynamics of the kit, the um, yeah, he's super stoked with it. And the changes I have made, he loves it even more, um, which is great. So I think it's just from knowing each other, playing with each other for you know 11 years or whatever it is, we really know. So yeah, it hasn't actually been that challenging. It's been quite smooth, the process, yeah. We're really just doing what's required for the song, because no one really cares. I mean, there are people that care about the technical stuff, but if it doesn't serve the song, it's, you know, I'd rather just do what's best for the, for the track. I, I did, you know, in the earlier days, I was having a crack and going, oh, I can make that real interesting and quite challenging for myself. But then it just ends up being a pain in the ass later, later on. It just, and it's like, is it really bettering the song, you know? So we're really, real specific with the way we write now. And, um, you know, a lot of the drum programming is super specific with what's going on with the music, with the riff, like even Phil's, you know, it might be a guitar riff and there's a Phil it's fully synced with that guitar riff, you know. You must be out of your mind. Don't ask every few so um, so playing more than that would be too much. And um, we call it bing bong, you know. If there's too much bing bong, ah, you know, you know I swear. <laughs> No bing bong. Let's just let's just uh, do what's what's right and, and feels best for, for the song. Yeah, so I, I teach on this kit at home. Um, yeah, I, I have a dedicated day, like on a Thursday. I have uh, students come here and they get to play this weapon and they love it. No complaints from the neighbours because you know you've got good control of levels. But I also do lessons on Skype, so simply just have them on the on the on the uh, laptop there. They've got a similar setup, either electric kit um, or, or a real kit with pads. Uh, that, that works beautifully. Um, simply send them files instantly, you know, can, can send them uh, drum notation, bang. Uh, another thing that's really cool actually is using the V-Drums Tutor, where I, I can play a groove, record the MIDI, dump the MIDI into V-Drums Tutor, notates the stuff, and I can send that to them. If they've got a V-Drum, with V-Drums Tutor, they just drag and drop into their V-Drums Tutor and they've got the notation there, play along with it, it scores them, you know, blue is spot on, red X's if they're not hitting it, so it's such a wicked tool. Um, so yeah, I, I love teaching on this thing, yeah, really cool. So this is an awesome program uh, that Roland do called V-Drums Tutor, DT1, so it's just here, I'm going to load that up. This is what I use a lot in teaching. It's fantastic. I mean, you've got your, your exercises in here that you can play along to, you've got songs. Uh, but what's really handy is that you can record your own MIDI and then just simply drag and drop it into here. So one of my students is learning collateral. <laughs> Yeah, he was struggling with some of the fields, so I thought we'll record it. Whack, you know, email him the MIDI and he, he opens up his V-Drums and just drags it in. So this is what it what it's like. Um, this is the first fill, so if I play it. And then here comes the fill. And then, yeah, he can um, play to that at whatever tempo he likes. So it's at 120. I think the real, the, I think the song's at 130 something. But he can go down to bloody 50 beats a minute if he wants and really hone in on that on that feel, you know. So it's such a wicked tool, um, and it's just it, it scores you as you play your, your tightness level. So it's really going to tighten him up, and he's going to see where he's rushing and pulling and stuff like that. So. So, so cool. So I've got, yeah, all the drum fills recorded for him. He just dumps it in there. I mean, I've done full tracks as well, Deluge. Uh, I've got one of our songs, if I just drag and drop that in there. The whole track is there. There's 129 bars in here. Um, so that's really cool. Nice 
nosso pro Shuffle Girl. So yeah, the whole track is there. Uh, which is very cool. Tried to find the face of salvation, but all you found was me. Now you're staring at the sword in your chest Like a woman and a 